And so it begins another day of hanging gates and overheads. Long day, another one. To be fair, we only worked like a half day today. The welder broke down, ran out of fuel. I bought a truck that didn't work. See our other video for that. We'll put a link in the description. Um, yeah, so we've got little cross members right here in every one of these. And that's what we did with a half day today. You gotta get up early when you only work two, three hours at a day, so. What do you think, Kelly? I think it'd look a lot better if we had all those gates up. We'd work the whole day. Yeah, we could have been done with all the gates today if we'd had a full day on it, so. Oh well, avoid distractions and things breaking. And buy more trucks. They T work. Till next time, mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be liberals. Good afternoon, cattle country. Welcome back to another episode of Farm and Ranch Hacks. I'm Cody. I'm Kelly. And what we're finding out on this project is that although some of these ideas are good ideas, they don't actually work. What we have here is an idea for a hinge that would close 360 degrees. So we've got a gate. It's welded up and in place, as you can see behind me. It has a hinge with a grease circ that we didn't install. So whoever did knows more about that than we do. And they would call it a grease circ if they knew more about it than we do. And we have another collar welded between the two tabs. Seemed like a great idea. Then we get gates that should be able to close 360 degrees all the way around either side. Really should, exciting. Should be in the operative word. However, as Kelly will demonstrate for us here momentarily, not so much. Unfortunately, the hinges should have started out straight. Swings in one spot, but it just follows the path of least resistance. It doesn't really swing on the alternative hinge. And if you pick up on the gate, you will notice one hinge moves, one hinge doesn't, and then they kind of want to fight each other. So, as usual, back to the drawing board. And so we finally concluded that wasn't going to work. Making scraps, pretty much what we did today. So to try and keep these videos a little less boring, I'll just do a quick wrap up on what happened today. We now have gates. This is the gate that you saw us struggling with. This is an intentional hole left where there will eventually be fence and top rail and another gate there. This is all part of the very first pen one, the big pen. Then pins two, three, and four, which are gonna be small, narrow sorting pins, on down to the loadout. So we're getting there. It's just killer when you spend half a day making scrap, fighting a design that was never gonna work. That's why the engineers on this project have all been fired. Kelly, what do you think? I think we should have hired some engineers in the first place. Until next time, mamas. Don't let your babies grow up to be liberals and there's a reason feedlots have their hinges set up the way they do and <laughs> don't try anything new and inventive. It won't work. We don't know what that is, but it's scaring everyone. Trying to decide if it's a paper factory or if it's the color they paint ghosts. Hey.